coming from a Southern Baptist background, I never thought I'd be speaking in church about, um, about pride, so this is awesome. Um, <clears throat> the mission of Pride Lafayette is to continue to educate and promote awareness of diversity, health, culture, and acceptance of individuals based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Together, members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and ally communication, or community, excuse me, work to reach the same goal of non-discrimination by education. Proud Lafayette facilitates and coordinates the efforts of the communities to work together on a number of programs and activities, such as diversity education, health initiatives, community mobilization, cultural enhancements, and research. And kind of what all that means, we're a community center. We're a safe place for all people. We offer support groups, support for LGBT people who are struggling with coming out and how to help them and their families in that process. Uh, we have an amazing youth group, and as well as all volunteer board of directors. This is my first year, and really my first only full year of being on the board. I'll be on the board for the first part of next year, and I'll be moving away in May. Uh, but the board, we're all volunteer, we all do this because we really just have a passion in our hearts for this community. We provide resources, HIV testing, and many other needs for the LGBT community. We also provide mental health resources for LGBT people. The LGBT community have a higher risk of depression, anxiety, homelessness, and suicide, especially the LGBT youth, transgender, and young adults. Uh, COVID-19 has really hit us hard. Uh, our youth operating budget comes from fundraisers, community donations, and just the general kindness of the community around us. Due to the pandemic, we had to close our center to in-person events. Uh, due to the volunteers just not feeling safe to be there. We had to cancel three fundraising events so far and postpone another in December. One of those events being Outfest, which is our um, biggest event. It's our annual Pride event held here in the downtown Lafayette and also our largest fundraiser. Um, our events only benefit Lafayette, but we've had attendees from other parts of Indiana and even other states. One way the community can help us now is through donations and community support. Um, also, once everything kind of clears up and it's safe to get out and do things again on a more of a mass level, you know, if you know to volunteer, we'd love to have new volunteers who let people come in and join us who also have a passion for the community as well. Um, thank you all for having me today. Um, please feel free to join any questions on our website. Um, Pastor Tracy and Pastor Tim both have my personal email. So you're welcome to reach out there. If you have any questions, just let me know. Let us know. Thank you. Thank you, David. Uh, we are uh, encouraging the congregation this month to consider the ways that, uh, just all the ways that we can, like I said, support um, these agencies that are doing such important work. One of the